New Year's, I guess. It's New Year's Eve. We're sitting out here filling rice bags for the store. So, you know, it's a never ending process. You know, it's not always fun and joy. Sometimes you get to enjoy life, sometimes you have to keep working. Tonight, although we'll have a little bit of good time and a little bit, but right now I gotta finish the, what we're doing at the store here. Making sure we got rice stock for the next day's sale, even though we won't be open tomorrow. Still got to get prepared for the next day. So, just part of the business. You know, I'll tell you this, if you come over here and you, you really want to start a business here in the Philippines, Sometimes businesses take a lot out of your life. You won't have a lot of free time to do anything that you, you know, some of these guys are going to the beach and everything. That's good for guys that have a retirement, have a income coming in. But if you're looking for something over here that you need an income yet to live on, there are just certain things you can do to a job over here keep a uh, living over here and run a sorry sorry store is what a lot of a lot of the guys get talked into it's not always not always the most profitable business By far is it the most fun business to do, but it is a business for people that want to do it. I'll tell you, we've been doing this for seven years now, and it's, it has provided a, a means for us to have a little bit extra in what, in what we do. In no means has provided a living for us, so not want to think it over before you decide to come over and make sure you're making the right choice. Make sure you have a way to support yourself. I hear a lot of people talk about it's cheap living in the Philippines, but if you're trying to raise a family, it's definitely not cheap. Uh, a lot of a cost, a lot of expense that goes into that, and you know, one of those things is schooling, which we're lucky right now to be able to put our kids through through school. They uh, they all go to a private school, so that's a good thing, but it's not cheap doing that. That costs a lot. It does cost a lot of money to get them in a private school, get them going to school. You know, we have, we do appreciate the school they go to. The they've had a very good education there, so I can't complain about that. But if you're gonna if you're gonna run a sorry sorry store and have your life depend on running a sorry sorry store. You might want to rethink rethink your situation there. I'll tell you this this is our sorry sorry store here. Oh, got a customer coming in here. Hello, Billy Bong. How you I'll doing? Up. What do you like? What would you like? Lemon yellow. Huh? Lemon yellow. Yellow? Lima. 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 So. Go help this little guy get some Lima Yellow. Lima.
Lima, five, right? You got it? Hold on. Five is your change, my young man. Salama pole. See? Not much. My dice. 15 cents. Or uh, three pesos, so you don't make much money on ice either. So that's one of the advantages of having a store over here. You can sell stuff like that. I was going to show you around a little store here a little bit. This is our little part of our sorry sorry store here we got all sort of condiments up here you got let's start over here we got noodles and some onions some salt some garlic some oh ginger some oil we got noodles 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 we got uh, Tidbits, pineapples, pork and beans, tomato paste, ketchup, coffee, oyster sauce, sugar, nor cubes. Oh, and you got your flour and your eggs here. Then you got all your other items, household items, stuff like that, that they use here. Then we got up here, we got our, uh, we got a drink machine that we have drinks in here also and you have your coffees and stuff like that up here you're come around you got your Colgate your Pond's cream and stuff like that hair wax the guys buy then you got all your uh, sardines stuff like that plenty of sardines so wild wild ulam Hands it, and then of course we got the soap, stuff like that to deal with. Out here we have our fresh vegetables. We don't have many fresh vegetables because, like I said, it's New Year's Eve tonight, and there's we just didn't want too much out here over New Year's, New Year's Eve, because there's not going to be many people buying that tomorrow. So then you got also you got your candies. We all sell the candies and sell the uh, cookies and stuff like that. Then your piso piso stuff. You got your piece of piece of stuff down here that we sell. So, again, run a sorry sorry store, you're not gonna make much. You can possibly survive on running a sorry 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 store, but you're not gonna make too much doing it. So, don't expect it's gonna be a life changing event for you running a sorry sorry store. You gotta be on top of it, I'll tell you that. You gotta be top of it ready to go if you're going to do it and you've got to have good management to do it so all right well that's our introduction to new year's eve here and just letting you know the sorry sorry store is uh one of the things we do to try to make a little bit of extra income here but it's not gonna do it's not gonna be your make you a millionaire overnight type deal so Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Share it. Give us a comment. We always like to hear you comment on our videos. Uh, we enjoy commenting with you. And uh, we appreciate everybody that has subscribed to our channel. And we hope you'll stay subscribed to our channel. Everyday living at its best here.